All right, so we're here at the Knight Street Market by the Chiang Mai University and it is quite a surprise like this place is massive so this is supposed to be a market where it's got a lot more modern food it's got a lot of cheap food because it's aimed at the students there is so many already cloves food stalls phone cases everything you name it it's here so there's going to be some lots of modern food today so we're just going to see what there is and if we want to try it we're going to try it hello <laughs> Look at all of that, waffles and things. Should we start with the dessert tonight? What do you fancy? We've got cashew, original, chocolate, vanilla, blueberry, Karen. black corn. currant, corn and banana. Can we get one banana please? Thank you, Captain <laughs> It's really nice and warm. Let's give it, it a go. It? Uh -huh. mm. I like it. Can I have some? Like you can literally taste the banana straight away. I was thinking there's probably going to have like a banana syrup or a banana like topping or something. There's banana inside this waffle already mm. and instantly the minute you take a bite you can you can taste it. Really good. Mm. Mm. These. Cold crepes. Do you remember these? They are literally just whipped cream. <laughs> there we are. It's all whipped cream in different colours. Crepes Brownie. wrapped around whipped cream. Just to give you guys an idea about how big this market is, like all the way down there, as far as you can see. And this is all a sitting area here. Wow, and it's ram all the way there. So when I see art markets like this all jam-packed, it just makes me really happy. I get excited that things are going back to normal again. But it's good though. Good, good, good. That's how we like it. We're going to try something that we haven't had in Thailand so far. Libby's fan. This one, spinach and cheese pie. Spinach and cheese pie. Can I get one spinach and cheese? Can't say I was thinking I'm going to have this in Thailand, but <laughs> surprise, surprise! We're Why gonna not? have this here. Sorry. Okay, we've decided we might not stick to traditional Thai today. We're gonna go a little bit of a mix. Just whatever we see that looks good, we're gonna give it a try. So we paid 29 baht for a cheese and spinach Thai. Are you ready? I am. Oh, yummy! It actually tastes good. Yeah, the last bit tasted really good. Let's see. I need to take another bite to just make sure. Obviously. And I like confirm it. Oh, of course. As with like every single meal that you have, isn't it? Mm. It's really, really good. It's actually really cheesy. Very spinachy. Sorry, did you actually just leave some for me? You've eaten half of it already. This is really good. Like the middle is melting your mouth cheese and spinach. Impressed. I like it. So this feels like it's going to soon turn into a dessert edition again. Sweet only. They've got some really good desserts. Like literally the last four or five food stands together have all been sweet stuff. This is again like... This pancakes, okay. Pancakes, rotis and things. Nutella, banana. Yummy. That's fruits down here. Some juice, orange and passion fruit. There we are, fresh. That is sushi and things. Love. That is Italian soda, I guess. See what I mean? Everything down here, food stand after food stand, it's all sweet stuff. Okay, bar this. Again, sweet. I'm making it up. Sweaty crab. This looks really good. Like, so, one of that, this, that's the yellow one, and a spring roll. All for 
How much? All for 20. All for 20 baht. That is it. Happy days. We're not too sure what they actually are because we got a little bit lost in translation. Oh. But we're gonna go find a little place oh. to enjoy them. So much. Yes. They've got flavoured popcorn down here. This is like home comfort to the mouth. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what's what. There's a lot of stuff. Let's get it out the bag. Is that a potato or a pineapple? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's potato. Is it just fried potato? Is it I like how they've done it. No, it tastes like a roast potato. The texture <gasps> is really oh, good. Do you want to try it? it? Yes. <laughs> Yummy. This is the closest to a roast potato. Mm. There's like different sauces as well. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Looks like something sweet and chilly inside. Item number two. All right, so this is what I would describe as um, a pakora. Did you think that's a potato? When it you, is. Is it? It is. Guaranteed it's a potato. Mm -hmm. Is it? It's a potato with a bat around it. Like a dolphin noir. No, but it's not a batter. Oh. So for the next one for the bag, it's something that we're familiar with. Spring rolls. We're gonna have this. It's all like glass noodles inside. Is it just glass noodles or vegetables as well? Vegetables as well. But most of these glass noodles. Yummy. So we're down to our last thing. So I have absolutely no idea what this is. I've seen it around. It's something green, something fried, fairly warm. What is this? Like some sort of vegetable? Don't know. Mm. Oh, very good texture. On the inside, almost like it's tofu or something. What is it? It's really good though, isn't it? Tastes like roast potato. Like that's like the texture, like the little crispy on the outside and then fluffy on the inside. Let's see what we can find next. This one? Uh, fried egg salad. Fried egg salad. And this is? Scrambled egg. Scrambled egg. We're thinking we about are. having a Thai omelette. We've seen this in quite a few shops. We have, we? yeah. It seems to be really popular, but it looks really yummy and it smells really good. So we're going to choose now what we want. So you can get three toppings for 25 and you can get five for 35. So guess what we're going to go for? We're going to go for five. Let's do it. So can we get five toppings? These are the toppings we can choose from. So can we get, is that crab stick? Onions? Tomato? That one there, mix, chicken sausage. This is where the fresh omelette is being made with all of the toppings and everything there. That's what I just got. Bring fresh in the goods. omelette. I've got all the goods here, baby. Ooh, so, yeah. underneath all of this massive omelette, you've got raspberry. Yes. Yeah, one of this was 35. Wow. There we go. Yum. Oh, it's a hot and humid one tonight. And we're looking for a drink. I think I found one. Yeah. A drink stand. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? I have no idea what any of these are because these are all in Thai. Is that the best on there ever? Are you ready for this? That's actually, I think, the best omelette I've ever had. Mm. 
How good is that? It's predominantly chicken, the flavour. And it's got that tangy, like, saucy, yeah, tangy, spicy like, flavour as well. Like, this is actually one of the best, if not the best, omelets that we've had. Wow, this is really good. So good. No wonder why there's so many omelet places in every food market down uh -huh. here. Like, these are sick. These are banging, really good. I have no idea what this is. It tastes a bit like um, plum slash pumpkin slash something, something. It's like a little good little concoction. Okay, so we've come to one of these little like roadside restaurants on the on the side of the road of the market. Thank you. And we are gonna get a chicken day for 49 bar. We are excited to try this. It is really, really popular. It's so busy here, so it looks like a good one to try. The locals also love it, so we're excited. Wow, it's like this massive school canteen. Wherever you look, there's like people everywhere. So tonight, by the looks of it, it's not exactly a traditional Thai night. Like, we're literally <laughs> pretty much going for home comfort tonight. We're having a steak. We saw it for 49 baht. You can't go wrong with that. Even if it's like a normal chicken breast that comes out, I'd be more than happy with that, no problem. It looked nice in the picture. It's got a salad, it's got some sides, something else. Uh, it's got a massive we'll piece of chicken. You. So now what, when it comes, we will show you what it's like exactly. How good does that look for 49? <laughs> That's like a pound and probably two p. That looks yum. That is definitely uh, the sauce, the peppercorn sauce. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice. For 49 baht, taking the blind. So we're gonna dig in and enjoy the chicken steak. Mm -hmm. So we're contemplating if we can make room for someone else to eat, probably a dessert maybe, <laughs> because we are stuffed. But I don't know. We're trying to walk it off, see if we can make room for someone else. Probably not because uh, I think we're too full. Ice cream or something? I got some toasted stuff, I can't even do it. Cookies and cream. Oh, what is this? I like this. Deep, uh, deep fried ice cream. I'd like that. That didn't take too long, did it? I was trying to make up my mind. Can I eat something else? Of course I can. Do you know what we just found? Deep fried ice cream. Sorry, the cup. Um, cookies and cream, one. They have chocolate chip, chocolate, and oh, they've got strawberry, just the three. I'm gonna go for strawberry because I'm not really a chocolate guy, so no. But fried ice cream. Um, sauce. Oh, you're spoiling us now. Blueberry. Can, no, can we get caramel, please? Yeah. So that's uh, that's how we do it, guys. We're checking the temperature first. I'm not sure what's gonna happen now. Someone coming out the the deep freeze. There we go. My friend here. He's uh, he's an expert. A deep fried ice cream. Oh, there we go. Ice cream gone straight in. How crazy is this process then? I've never seen it like this before. Have you? No. Literally, and I've never heard of deep fried ice cream. Never. I've heard of it. I've never seen Thanks. it in the Have making you? before. Yeah. I've never. Well, today's your lucky day. There it comes. You don't want to leave it in there too long. There we go. It's gonna be very rich. That's it. Oh yeah. Oh yum yum yum. So we got our ice cream and it's actually really hot, like on the side of the cup. But obviously. But you've never ever said that about ice cream before in your life. No. Hot ice cream. <laughs> and the whipped cream on the top is melting. Oh, that is sweet. Oh yeah, I Perfect. bet it's going to be a banger. Oh! What's it like? My ice cream is crispy. <laughs> I can't like, what is it? Yeah. Crispy ice cream. It's so sweet though. The ice cream's sweet, then the whipped cream on top, then the caramel sauce, then the chocolate. Wow. Is it hot, hot? No, Do it's not hot. It? No. It's literally the weirdest thing ever. 
it's like in the very middle it's still like a bit cold but everything around it the outer layer it's all crispy and warm tastes really good though really really good what would you give this out of 10? Oh, really nice i would give it i'd give it a nine out of ten only because now outside of like the the fried bit like the batter is a little bit oily but obviously because it was put in oil but it's really really good otherwise like, it's really nice it's very sweet and i'm stuck i'll uh, go and give it a helping hand guys all right so i'll see you in a minute Large cheese soda to end the night. Oh. Tonight's a hot and humid night. But this is a good way to end the night. Okay. So quick advice to everyone, whoever's in Chiang Mai, make sure when you guys are here, uh, come to the Chiang Mai University night market. You guys will be so surprised by the size and the variety. Like there's so much available. It's a bit different to the traditional ones that you would normally come across in Thailand because this has a really big variety of western modern as well as like local traditional thai food as well so it was really really good loved it we're full to the brim how did you find it it was great it was good fun it was so super busy and it's so hot tonight so it was like a really hot like atmosphere but there were so many people it was crazy but if you fancy like some cheap clothes cheap food this is the place on that note consider subscribing we're going to end the vlog now because it's that time hope you guys enjoyed it if you did like subscribe and share all right we'll see you in the next one